When I first met Barney, we spent almost every weekend in this magnificent canyon. I climbed practically all the hills in the surrounding area. There is a sense of freedom here. The landscape is beautiful, and there is nowhere else like it in Europe. In the heart of the Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur region, the turquoise green waters of the Lake of Saint Croix attracts thousands of tourists every year. Considered to be one of the most beautiful artificial lakes in Provence, it has the spectacular Gorge du Verdon as a backdrop. This majestic gorge forms a natural border between the Alpes de Haute Provence in the north and the Var in the south. Over the millennia, the 175 kilometer long Verdon River has gradually carved out Europe's deepest canyon between these limestone plateaus. These 700 meter high cliffs offer a breathtaking panorama in a thousand shades of green. Jackie and her husband Barney, a retired couple from Marseille, are ardent admirers of the place. I first came to Verdun 60 years ago with my parents. My father wanted to show this magnificent canyon to my mother and me. He fell in love with the place in the 1930s. He used to cycle here from Marseille. Sometimes they even walked the Martel Trail with their bicycles on their shoulders when they got to Point Sublime. They got on their bikes and cycled back to Marseille. Once upon a time, only the initiated came to the Gorge de Verdun. Then rambling groups started coming here. And in the 1970s, all the rock climbers arrived. They lived here, sleeping in barns. And we were part of that. It's a fabulous place. And we had such a convivial time among friends. We're still friends with some of them. They were all dropouts and outsiders. After 1968 came flower power. Uh, rock climbing was a way of life. I was an eternal student. Other people worked for six months and then took six months off to go rock climbing. We were passionate about it. We didn't just come here for the rock climbing. Verdon was a way of life for us. It was quite terrifying. You had to be very skilled and foolhardy to brave these rock faces. When I first met Barney, we spent almost every weekend in this magnificent canyon. I climbed practically all the hills in the surrounding area. There is a sense of freedom here. The landscape is beautiful, and there is nowhere else like it in Europe. But the star attraction of the Gorge du Verdon is several hundred meters below. It is the River Verdon itself. It's a mountain stream. Its source is 2,000 meters above sea level at the foot of the Massif de trois Evêches, and it joins the River Jura and Savinon after about 200 kilometers. This is the most beautiful section. The entrance to the canyon where we are is about halfway along the River Verdon. France's Grand Canyon was so hard to get to that it only started attracting the attention of intrepid travelers at the start of the 20th century. The big challenge was to explore the whole of the canyon from below. There were two attempts which ended in failure. 
They were quite dramatic attempts, but luckily not fatal. They ended here on the banks of the River Verdon with the boat smashed to pieces. The first man to descend the gorge was called Edward Alfred Martel. He was the father of modern speleology. I have bad memories of the only time we made it down there, Jackie. And they're still fresh in my mind. Once was enough. The pros who go down there know the rocks like the back of their hand. They know exactly where all the traps are, depending on the route they took. It's not as cold as all that. In our youth, this is where we used to cross the river. There was a big iron peg on this block and one on the other side too. You had to lasso it and pull yourself across. I have friends who fell into the river because the peg gave way. Verdon comes from the Latin word viridium, which means green. There are fluorescent green algae in the river, which give it its color. The Verdon is a very green green. A glass of Verdon water. Since the first explorers came to the gorge, the emerald water of Verdun has been used for human consumption, electricity, and leisure. It is also used to irrigate the fields. It is a precious commodity for the whole region. Mm -hmm. 